I bet you cannot model these parts in three features or less. I'm going to show you five components that I 3D printed and I'm going to ask you how many features do you think we would need to create that part in SolidWorks? If you can beat me and create that component that I did with less features, then you can get my course for free. Ready? Let's go. A feature is anything that is listed after the origin in the design tree. A plane, an axis, extrude, revolves, doesn't matter. If it's listed individually, it counts. Let's begin by showing you component number one. The first component is a Y combinator. It's rounded on the edges. You can see that. How many features do we need to create this in SOLIDWORKS? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. We need two features to create this in SOLIDWORKS. You cannot do that with one. Let me show you. All right, let's model that in SOLIDWORKS. This is the Y Combinator rounded, two features. SOLIDWORKS is not able to do a sweep on a non-continuous path. So even though our sketch looks like a Y, we can only use one continuous path at a time. So I had to do this in two steps. How about this Y Combinator with the edgy sides? How many features do we need to create this? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. One feature. Let's see how I actually model that. This is the edgy Y Combinator. And as you can see, it's only one extrude, nothing more. It's using thin feature on mid plane and that's how we get the Y Combinator in one feature. Let's go back. Third component, the edgy snowflake. Edgy and the snowflake. How many features do we need to create this from scratch in SOLIDWORKS? Three, two, one. One feature only. The edgy snowflake. Using one extrude, I can get the edgy snowflake too. Is it worth it? Not at all. Not at all. I get one combinator like edgy one and I do a circular pattern, which is a lot faster. It should not be my objective to model my component with least number of features. So what? There is no limit on that. Do the one that makes sense. Okay, next. How many features do we need on minimum to create this snowflake, which is rounded all the way through? I'll give you three seconds to think about it and tell me the minimum feature we need to create this in SOLIDWORKS. Three, two, one. Two. We need two features minimum to create this component. If you don't know how, let's go to the room and I'll show you. This is the snowflake that you might see. Oh, it has four features. Yeah, but it's not the one I want to show you. This is the snowflake, rounded edges, all of them, all the way through with two features. However, it's not worth it at all. Just because we can do it with two features doesn't mean we should. The right way of doing this, if you want to do it, it's with four features. It's a lot faster to work like this because this is the normal two feature Y combinator round. And if we add two more to it, we can create this, which is a lot faster than just wanting to reduce the number of features on the design tree. For the sake of what? It doesn't help us at all. All right, this time I have a weird shape that doesn't have an A. If you pay attention to this component, it's all circular on this end, almost three quarter on each end, and oval in the middle. And it's not a closed volume, it's an open volume. Looking at this, how many features do we need to create this? Three, two, one, if you guess three features, you're right. Let me show you how. And this is the one that I told you. This is a loft of three profiles, a circle, an oval, another circle, and there is shelling. So basically we get this component, then we shell it out like that, and we do an extrude cut. Your best chance is to beat me on this. If you can do it with two features, you win. But you need to go to my website, solidworkstutorials.net forward slash SA dash registration. Join my free community and message me directly over there. If you can make this or any of them with the fewer number of features than I used. If you can beat me, I'll grant you access to my paid course and you get that for free. For those of you who couldn't find me for the past couple of days on YouTube, my channel got hacked as the result got terminated by YouTube and it took me about five days to bring it back online. I lost all of my momentum so if you like this video or my previous videos I would appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe to my channel so I can get the same momentum I did have. So by the way my previous video before my channel got terminated was a challenge on how fast we can model using mouse gestures. If you can beat me in speed you can comment it below that video and you also get something back from me. If you've missed that I'm gonna put it 
it on the screen right now click on the video on the right that should be that video go ahead evaluate your own speed in SOLIDWORKS and let me know what else you want me to cover otherwise I'll be seeing you guys in 3D World experience around 24th 25th of February in Houston Texas I'll keep you posted if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so